Good day, my dear brothers and sisters. Today is Holy Thursday, the start or the beginning of the celebration of the Paschal Triduum. Today, we remember this day as the day of the Last Supper, the Passover meal where Jesus break the bread with his disciples at the upper room. You know what? I was blessed and was given a chance to visit this holy place, the upper room, during my pilgrimage at Jerusalem in Israel. By the way, today, there are supposed to be there are three major celebrations should be done today. But because of this pandemic that we are facing now, everything will be done in private or be live streamed by some priests or I don't know what's the program in your parishes or dioceses. During the Holy Thursday, usually we priests renew our priestly vows during the Christmas Mass. And second, during this day, the Mass of the Lord's Supper, at the, at the Mass of the Lord's Supper, the washing of the feet is reenacted and after the Lord's Supper celebration is the reposition of the Blessed Sacrament and that's the start of the adoration and the vigil. By the way, let me start my, my reflection today with these following questions. Friends, brothers and sisters, if you know that tonight will be your last day on earth and tomorrow you will be gone, how will you treat your family and friends? You know what? I am not scaring you, but what if? What if you know that tomorrow will, you will expire and death is waiting for you? What will you do? What will you do if you knew that your last Christmas, you know, was the last one? And no more birthday celebrations, no more gatherings, because tomorrow you will die. What will you do? I'm asking this question because this is precisely our gospel for today. Jesus in today's gospel, he gathered his disciples before the night before is to be crucified and he instructed them what to do. He left them something to remember him and today is Holy Thursday. Accordingly, is one of the holiest days in the church year. Jesus, on the night before his crucifixion, he left us something to remember. Number one, he instituted the Eucharist and he told his disciples, do this in remembrance of me. Do this in memory of me. And second, Holy Thursday, this is the day that Jesus instituted the holy orders. And finally, Today is the day that Jesus told his disciples to love and serve one another. For this year's reflection, allow me to focus my sermon on the priesthood and the significance of the washing of the feet. Holy Thursday, by the way, is associated with foot washing. Jesus was the feet of his disciples, reminding them to be servants. The washing of the feet is a great reminder to be servants. Washing of the feet is the ultimate act of servant leadership. Likewise, today, Jesus is reminding me and you to do the same. And that is, we are challenged to love and to serve. We are invited to do to others what Jesus does to us. At the end of the gospel, Jesus clearly emphasizes the importance and primacy of serving to others. Because at the end of the gospel today, this is what he told to his disciples. And I quote, I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Tonight, 
I was reminded once again that my priesthood is oriented towards service and love. I was called to serve. Priesthood is servanthood. If you see this photo here, this priest with me was the one who inspired me to offer my life to the ministry of priesthood. You know what? His service, his humility, and extreme poverty, if you know him, is very amazing. His name, by the way, is Father Oscar. And for me, he is my modern VNA because of his extreme poverty, extreme way of living the priesthood. From the life of Father Oscar, you know, I've realized that to be a servant or servanthood is serving people, it is helping people without getting the credit. And the object of service is the others. The others is the object of service. And servanthood, from the way I see the life of Father Oscar, servanthood is allowing ourselves to be used without getting abuse for the sake of others. Servanthood is humility. It is fading in glory. When there is a glory, when there is a glory, when there is a appreciation, you have to fade. Because it's just like doing good without being noticed. Servanthood is just like bending down our knees to lift up others. Friends, brothers and sisters, if we love others, we need to bend down, not to lock down our feet. This humble priest, Father Oscar, taught me that servanthood and humility are the splendid quality of those who aspire to become a leader. As your priest, I'm here not as your boss. As your priests, I am not here as a manager, but the gospel to me today reminded me to live a life of a servant. I am here not a master, but a slave to serve you, my dear brothers and sisters, friends. You know, allow me to take this opportunity today. If there were times that I behave as if I'm the most important figure in our community here. Please, be courageous to remind me to act like Jesus and tell me, Father Jack, please be a good shepherd. You know, my dear friends, if there were times that as a priest, I seek self-importance, kindly remind me of the nature of my calling and tell me, Father Jack, be humble. If there were times that I hurt you with my words and gestures, today I am offering to you my sincere apology. Please tell me, Father Jack, please be prudent. Friends, brothers and sisters, my dear parishioners, if there were times that you were exhausted because of my long and boring sermons, please forgive me for being insensitive of the time. If there were times that you were scandalized by the way I live my priesthood, sorry for my misconducts. If there were times that you find me unfriendly, you find me unapproachable, sorry for my misconduct. Please understood my mood swings. If there were times that my life give you an impression that I am a picky and chosy with regards to friends, and have some favorites in the parish, I'm sorry. If there were times that you felt I'm rushing up the sacraments, I'm rushing up the Mass, please accept my apology. For all my limitations, for all my weaknesses, forgive me. Today, as we renew our vows and promises to the Lord, as I will renew our priesthood, 
my dear parishioners, my dear brothers and sisters, I'm asking you a favor. Today, please keep me and all the priests in your prayers. Pray that we may pattern our life according to the heart of the Good Shepherd. That like Jesus, we may live in service, in love, and excel in humility. Wishing you guys a Holy Week celebration. Amen.